Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In Chapter 3, we venture to the Elemental Plains as the immortal hero Tarnum hangs up his sword for a robe. Alrighty folks, welcome back to the final part of the Master of the Elements campaign, Scenario 7, Birds of Fire. Tarnum must defeat the Fire Elementals who enslave the Phoenixes. All heroes will be limited to level 35, but Tarnum and his three best heroes will transfer to the next scenario with all their spells, skills and experience. Gonna roll with 12 enchanters for this mission. Let's do this. Tarnum always had an obsessive hatred for slavers. So when he learned the Fire Lord had enslaved the beautiful Phoenix, he nearly dropped everything. Even when he knew the Elemental Lords would soon attack our world, he returned to the Plane of Fire to rescue them. Finally, we have returned to the Elemental Plane of Fire to free the Phoenixes. To ensure that the Phoenixes remain free, I must not only capture the Pyres where they are born, but also defeat the Fire Elementals who have enslaved them. The men I left behind to guard this realm tried to attack the slavers, but were easily defeated. Apparently, the enemy has the ability to quickly recruit numerous Fire Elementals. The longer I wait, of course, the larger my enemy's army will become. Alright, so this is a bit of a timed mission, I suppose, in that regard. Although, the fact that we start with 21 enchanters means this will probably be a pretty straightforward mission. Couple that with the fact that this map is tiny. Although it does have an underground, so... There is that. So we're going to want to hoover up all the resources we can find. Grab ourselves some money. Obviously, we're going to try and head towards the capital as soon as possible. And then we'll... Uh... Looks like there's quite a lot of uh, places to buy troops. So that's probably what we're going to be focusing on this mission. Rather than recruiting troops from our own base. I mean, we'll get the initial troops, of course, but after that, I think we might not actually have to come back to our base at all, this mission. Obviously, we'll see how it all plays out, but we'll save the uh, flagging for our lieutenants. Ooh, a gold mine. Nice. Again, we'll save that for uh, Solmaya. At this stage of the game, flagging is beneath Tarnum. <laughs> His job is to kill the enemies and uh, open up the map. Oh, there's a tome of knowledge there, so you might as well focus on gold again. No need to lose all the sprites. We can probably do a lot better ourselves. Man, these enchanters. Oof. The damage is real. Okay, we're still going to want to push towards uh, getting a capital ASAP Rocky. The Psychic Elementals are an excellent addition to my forces, and the stronger Magic Elementals with their immunity to magic will be a great asset against the Elemental Lords. One of the Magic Elementals has even volunteered to take over Hemeros' position as Mage Instructor. With a creature of pure magic training them, I am sure to have the most powerful mages ever. Nice. Wow, that just absolutely rinsed my uh, my money. <laughs> oh, geez, elementals are expensive. Okay, so red's on the other side of that mountain range. Good to know. Oh, hell no. Ain't using that. Do a cheeky chain lightning. 
got resurrect anyway, so even if uh, I did lose an enchanter or something, I can always resurrect him. <laughs> and our forces are actually pretty strong already. Level 29. I am curious to see what level our opponents are going to be. Our opponent heroes, I mean. You realise too late that you have fallen into a trap when the fire spread out before you suddenly takes form as lots of phoenixes burst from the ground. At first you just stare at these beautiful creatures as they soar above you, a living brilliant inferno. And then they attack. Ooh, hell no. That's a lot of phoenixes. Okay, this is going to be a, a heavy, heavy fight, that's for sure. Haste is a good one though. Definitely going to need to use Resurrect, but... Damn, that was effective. Ah, they only killed three? Jesus. Wow, this has gone really well. <laughs> Surprisingly well, in fact. I was expecting to lose a lot more. Get our uh, enchanters back. Lovely jovely. From high above, a group of sprites fly down and reach you. We have heard you were going to free the phoenix and wish to help you. It was the worst thing for us to be enslaved. And even though the phoenix is not like us, we cannot stand for their enslavement. Please accept us as part of your troops. This is wonderful. Oof. Trade out the earthy boys. Although Baroslar remains with the army now, he has sent a few capable mages out to determine the defences of our enemy. We have learned that the only way to reach the, our enemy is through the monolith to the northeast of our conflux. The Phoenix Pyres are somewhere beyond that monolith, but we'll have to destroy the slavers if we're going to earn the complete trust of the Phoenixes, Baroslar said. Now that the meeting was over, I reached out and took the small man's hand. I just wanted to thank you for your support against Hemros, I said. I still held Hemros prisoner in a caged wagon that followed behind my troops. Remus suggested I leave the traitor behind, but I wanted him close so I could keep an eye on him. Plus, Baroslar wants to bring Hemros back before the justice of King Magnus. Perhaps Baroslar thought Magnus would be more lenient. We both acted poorly, Baroslar admitted. I'm thankful that you trusted me to search the elemental planes for you. Few have trusted my abilities before. Being related to the king may have its perks, but no one ever believes you earned your position with your own skills. Yes, well, I really just wanted you out of my hair, I said. Barris last smiled at my honesty and said, My thanks for your confidence, Lord Tarnish. I laughed. Now that's how the game of insults is played. I'll see you later. Balls Mola, I called as the wizard left my tent. I could hear the man's hearty laughter as he walked away. Oh 
amount of money. God damn. It's a three-way monolith. Interesting. Okay, I think this mission might be over very, very soon. <laughs> Warily you approach the conflux. This has been too easy, and the Lord of Fire is not likely to allow you to waltz through his territory unnoticed. The flames of the fiery fields begin to dance higher and higher, and suddenly you realise you have been ambushed. Concerned I am not. Okay, big fight. Or not. <laughs> Man, spells are a busted. I don't want to res my uh, sprites before I finish this mission. Congratulations, you have captured Fleogan Mills and are victorious. Woof, that was quick. Alrighty, scenario 8, Masters of the Elements. Tarnum faces the four elemental lords, now allied against him. If Tarnum is defeated, then all hope is lost and the world is destroyed. City Hall, let's go. Finally. Tarnum returned to our world to find the Elemental Lords tearing it apart. But he came back a changed man. He no longer hated magic, but reveled in it. Power surged through his body. Like his enemy, he had become a master of all elements. The purity of the Elemental Plains is a sharp contrast to home. For the first time I realized there were no smells in the Elemental Plains. Here the air carries a scent with it, flowers, rain, rotting leaves and mud. Still, it's good to be home. Unfortunately something happened as we passed through the portal to our own world. There is a great distance between my three captains and me. Remus thinks the contrast between the two realms caused the accident. For now we keep in contact thanks to the owl messengers such as the one Baraslar uses and we hope to rejoin our forces soon. As you approach your conflux, you find a white iron gate blocking your way. Before your eyes, the bars stretch and change, becoming 12 magic elementals. Good day. Sorry we're late. We haven't missed the battle with the elemental lords, have we? They say in unison. No, you respond. Good. Nice. I'll take that. The sky here is filled with sprites flying in circles, dancing in the air. You watch their performance for a while, applaud and try to move on. Unfortunately, they follow. Might you take us with you? One of them asks. Yes, yes, take us, take us, the rest cheer. We can help you fight those nasty elemental lords. They're meanies, especially the fat, ugly lord of air. Yes, he's fat and ugly. He puts the arg in ugly. You agree, only if they'll shut up. <laughs> That's brilliant. Sprites definitely get a rep for being really annoying in this game, <laughs> I noticed. Tall flames suddenly erupt from the ground surrounding you. You shrink back, nervous about catching fire, until you notice giant fire rings unfold to reveal phoenixes. One of them screeches, We've come to join you! Never again shall we feel the shackles of the Fire Lord! Nice. This is uh, it's turning into a certain type of mission where we're kind of just getting gifted nice big armies left, right and centre. Wow. Rude. No more uh, spells though. I think we'll be fine. We should be fine. 
I was half expecting something to join me as they have done in all the other fights, but apparently not. So this is still pretty straightforward. I was quite lucky though. There's only like a level one hero, <laughs> so. It is what it is. So we are gonna need to figure out where our opponents are. I think we can do better than that. 2,300 damage as I just see. Fucking hell. That's kind of absurd. Jesus Christ. I think we could probably just win with spell spell power alone, you know. Just gonna pick a direction and go. Hope we run into an enemy. Now, from memory of playing this game many, many, many years ago, this particular mission, there's four four enemies, and each one is uh, in a different corner of the map, essentially. Each one being a lord of air, water, fire, and earth. But it was a long time ago. I can't even remember exactly where they were. I also seem to remember King Magnus's army joining us at some point. But again, I could be misremem misremembering that. There's just gubbins everywhere to hoover up. It didn't take long for one of the mages to figure out how long we have been gone from this world. 30 years! Much can change in 30 years, even if my mission has not. I must still stop the Elemental Lords. Men such as Barislav feel the same way. But if we don't defeat the Elemental Lords, then all we have lost will be for naught. Realising that King Magnus might have perished while we were gone, I ordered Ponifik to set out for Bacarda immediately. With a sizable force of his own to protect him, Ponifix shouldn't have any trouble getting through enemy lines. Hemeros is leaving as well, still caged and in the capable hands of my golem master. Man, 30 years. That's interesting. Time dilation's a bitch, huh? So Solmire is the guy with the five phoenixes, so we should be able to roll through most of these neutral armies with no problem. Definitely need to push towards getting uh, cap well, city hall and capitals where possible. Whoa, hello. An air elemental scout warns you that there is an army camped ahead. You stop your forces and send a messenger, arranging a parley with their commander. As you approach, you find a haughty young wizard on a white horse. Are you really Lord Tarnum? The wizard asks. Yes, and who are you? I represent Gavin Magnus, King of Bracada. The troops I have with me are for you. Reinforcements for your battle against the Elemental Lords. They are yours to do with as you wish. King Magnus also sends you his luck in the battles ahead. Tell him I thank him. He has perfect timing. Damn. Okay, that's a game changer. So really, we just want to put that army on uh, Tarnum and we're, we're rocking and rolling. Jesus, 10 Titans, that's actually absurd. Okay, that looks like the uh, Air Lord's domain.
So if we can get Monir's army to meet up with Tarnum, that would be great. Need all the monies. There's a pyre there, that's not bad. Okay, so there's Tarnum, so we can get there pretty easily. That's the Lord of Waters domain. Arch Devils to defend, though. Wow, two Phoenixes? Surely we can do better than that. We've got any spells. Best fight, that's for sure. Was well, pretty much the same <laughs> as the auto combat, unfortunate. The day I arrived, I sent magic elementals out to explore the land and locate my enemy. Today, one of them returned from the north east with news about the Fire Lord's position. The Fire Lord has raised huge volcanoes and flooded this land to the northeast with lava. His fiery field spread daily, consuming everything in its path, the elemental explains. Kind of hoping he joined, but never mind. Jesus, that's a lot of them. more arch devils than I was actually expecting to be honest. Oof. Probably would have been bad to take the fight with Tarnum to be honest. Kind of just figured I'd roll through them to be honest but no nah, I guess not.
don't really want to use lose all my phoenix to be honest. Damn. Owies. Well, I guess at least we've got one Phoenix still alive. Every cloud and all that. Another magic elemental returned today, also from the north. The Lord of Air has a conflux to the northeast and is busy spreading his magic clouds throughout the land. Although you can still walk on them, the magic elemental claims that the ground is slowly losing its form and will soon disappear for good. Well. Already got implosion. If turn on my troops, and we can rock and roll. Wow. That's a uh, interesting set of artifacts. Pure magic resist. Gold is flowing into the treasury, sire. At least now we can actually build um, up our forces at home. Not that I think we need them. In the humid lands to the southwest, explained the third elemental scout, is the Lord of Water. The ground is swampy there. Rivers and lakes overflow and become lucid pools. Before long, he will have full command of his region. Gold by nice. Too bad I can't fight the uh, defenders. Not with her, anyway. Finally, the last magic elemental scout returns from the southeast, where he has found the Lord of Earth. Like the others, Lord Tarnum, the land under the Earth's control is crumbling and dying up. The rivers have run dry. Only a few lakes remain as a sign that the Lord of Earth hasn't completely gained control of the land, but earthquakes shake the ground daily. Of course, this is not unexpected news. Yes, I say. I have bad news, says the magic elemental. What? The elemental lords have indeed become allies. They share resources and information and even troops. Each elemental lord can summon all four types of elementals, so you can expect them to have massive armies. And all of them will be concentrating their attacks on me alone. Great. Alright, let's see what we got. Chicky Inferno, yeah, that'll do him. Lovely jovely. Easy bruv. All the elemental lords are plagued with desertions, even this close to the water lord's conflux. A horde of water elementals asked to join you. 
If this keeps up, the war will be over quickly. So the question is, can I upgrade these to enchanters? Yes, I can. Awesome. You love to see it. Man, we've got money for days. And a pretty rad income, I should imagine, as well. Wow. Okay. Sure. I've got very limited use for my heroes now, aside from Tarnum. Like I'm still kind of in scouting mode a little bit, but I kind of know where they all are, thanks to that magic elemental scout. Clone, not bad. Is a teal still in it? So they must have a hero roaming around somewhere. I don't think the enemy has more than one base per region. Oh, four. Jesus. Sure. Okay, that's one down. Three to go. I'm hoping for like a uh, dim door or a fly would be nice. Just to make my life that much easier. Unlikely to happen though. More likely as a summon X elemental. Is kind of meh. Ooh, baby. Jesus, so much damage. Christ. Our army's like legit busted at this point. Between the hero, the spells, and the troops. Yeah, we should just run over our opponents with relative to zero ease. Okay, that's the land of Earth located. And fire is probably up here. Can't explore to confirm, but I'm pretty sure that's where they'll be. A letter arrived from King Magnus today. It reads, Tarnum, 
Amazing. After all these years for you to return alive is simply amazing. I have heard some of what you have experienced while in the elemental planes from the man you sent to me, but I hunger for more information. I know your hands are still busy with the elemental lords, but maybe I can help you sometime soon. Unfortunately, we've had some trouble in the decades since your absence and don't have much to offer right now. Good luck, and looking forward to hearing from you again. Gavin Magnus, King of Bracada. Gavin Magnus genuinely seems like a swell bloke. And a very talented wizard, apparently. Today, some of my fire elementals managed to slip into the lands of Fire Lord and destroy some of his supplies. Outnumbered as I am, I must strike back at my enemy, weaken him and get him thinking about protecting his own lands before he can attack me. Okay, that's definitely the Fire Lord's lands. Question is, how do we get there? The fact that the, um... Water elements didn't even build a castle is shocking to me. I mean, at least the heroes are strong, right? Like, these are 17, 18 heroes. I'm... That's a good thing, because the last couple of Chronicles games, our opponents have been pretty weak source. So little opponent strength is actually... Ooh, you son of a... Son of a gun. That was painful. The old lightning bolt and leave tactic. Grim. Well, at least it wasn't an implosion and leave, I suppose. Every cloud. I suspect their base will be up here. I can always town portal back to my base if needed. So I think taking out their base is probably the uh, priority of the two, rather than running around chasing for their heroes. It begins to rain. A fat drop of water smacks against your face as you look up at the clear blue sky. How could this be? Then the air itself bends and folds in upon itself. A horde of storm elementals take shape, arcs of electricity swimming about their bodies. We'll join you now, one of them shouts. It is no request. Where do I put them though? Are they better than golems? Maybe? Damn, this is like Enchanter's Paradise over here. Okay, let's see if we can grab some sulfur and crystal. Let's see if we can get Dim Door. Nope. Magic Mare, I've already got that.
Okay, so it must be over to the right hand side then that we have to go to get to the Fire Elemental's lands. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we can just TP to our base if need be. Might be. Might be close enough. Maybe not worth the risk. We might have had another turn in it, but it's fine. Okay, well, there goes all my money. Oof. That is a monster army, though. Oh my god. I've always almost got those 17 enchanters that make your boy lightning bolt bolted earlier. Using the same tactic used against the Fire Lord, I sent some ice elementals to steal some resources from the Lord of Water. Unfortunately, they were spotted soon after they stole the goods. Before they were caught, however, my elementals destroyed their booty. Too bad they didn't return. Okay, well, I can kind of chase them towards my base and then TP to my base if needed. Unfortunately, the lack of logistics is a bit painful. Go. I probably need to split those genies up, actually. Wow. <laughs> God. This is such a one sided fight. Uh, split them up that way. Hopefully that will stop my uh, stop their phoenixes from getting free shots on my genies every fight. Ooh, I don't really want to lose my phoenix, but whatever. At this point, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. We actually broke through. Interesting. Didn't expect that. Wow. Wow. Well, matey boy definitely ain't taking that base. We can probably grab the uh, some troops. I'm thinking Phoenix might be worth or Firebirds if nothing else. Go to this base, take down the Lord of Earth. Wow, I lost 22. That's insane. Ah, that is a massive grouping. Maybe an Inferno or a Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning does the job perfectly well. 111, that's a lot of uh, Earth Elementals, however. Ooh, you son of a gun. Ouch. There goes all my enchanters. Two down, two to go. Okay, there we go. That's the route to the uh, Fire Elementals domain. Good to know. 
Since some of my raids have been getting repelled lately, I sent a combined force of water and earth elementals to attack some of the earth lords supply lines. They were successful and returned with only a few injuries. Oh, I'm about to wipe him out, so... <laughs> there is that. Surprised I don't gain any actual resources from that, though. Also, where is the uh, Iramon? I've already got Town Portal. Good to know they've got it as well. Let's upgrade these bad boys. <laughs> kind of hoping Iramon would capture that, but never mind. And i got to hunt him down. Is a bit annoying. Okay, he's over there. Oh, Thunar even. I thought it was Erdemon. Didn't take long for him to rebuild his army, did it? What good that'll do him? <laughs> Jesus. I'm not sure you can resurrect elementals. No, okay. Damn. I'll rip. It should have taken the quick combat results, ironically. A right, level 38 planeswalker, Jesus. The elemental lords have become suspicious of their own troops. An unexpected result of my raids. They've been treating their own troops so poorly lately that when I sent some storm elementals for a raid, they were able to join up with some deserting elementals. The Elementals returned to join my forces while the Storm Elementals destroyed the Air Lord's goods. Do not translate. 14 Fire Elementals. Okay. Interesting. Right, we're pulling out six... Phoenixes per week. Jesus Christ. Per per town? Wow. That's absurd. Another letter from King Magnus arrived this morning. Tarnum, I understand that you're unable to explain the mysteries of the elemental planes to me now in the middle of war, so I'm coming for a visit. If I could sit down with you and talk for just a couple of hours each night, I think I could learn much. Just so I'm not a complete hindrance, I will also bring some reinforcements. Good day, Gavin Magnus, King of Bracada. Nice, okay, that's good. Kind of curious what spell she's got actually. This was the uh, water match. Or water lord that I took out earlier. Okay, three down, one to go. So we want to get there. I think uh, K would probably be the closest. Really worth grabbing some reinforcements. Wow, holy shit. That's kind of absurd.
Jesus. 35. 35? <laughs> it's actually insane. The fact that we're getting six per week per town. Wow. Jesus Christ. Man, Conflict's Town busted. Still no dim door on Fort. Surprised they killed that many, to be honest. Really? Fucking hell. <laughs> the damage. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. You come across lots of energy elementals chained at the edge of the fiery fields. You approach cautiously. One of the elementals shakes his chains and says, Free us, please. These are magical bonds. The Fire Lords placed us here to fight you even though we didn't want to. If I free you, will you fight against your former master, you ask? Of course, they shout. Too bad I don't really have a room for them in my army. Yoink. Still magic mirror, okay. Holy mother of God. <laughs> oh boy. Fifty one Phoenix. Good luck taking that out. <laughs> Why, hello there, fire. Fire indeed hot. Hundred and ninety five fire elementals, though. That's no joke. Ooh, wow, good spell, good spell. GG's boys. I think this is pretty much over at this point. Alex Strazing. That's a cool name for a town. Now we just gotta hunt down the uh, stragglers. We just end a couple of turns, I suppose, is another way of doing it. But Oh, there we go, he's gone. Congratulations, all your armies have been defeated, and victory is yours. Damn, that was a easy last mission. Tarnum defeated the Elemental Lords, casting them back to their own planes forever. Knowing that if another gained mastery over the elements, the world would never be safe. Tarnum destroyed the Conflux towns and all records of the elemental planes. He soon exchanged his robe and staff for furs and a sword, returning to his life as a barbarian. Well, a Magi's life is not for Tarnum, it seems. It's a shame because he's a <laughs> very powerful wizard if he wants to be. 
Perhaps even stronger than King Magnus himself. Anywho, that will right about do it for this campaign, folks. So we are three out of eight chapters down. We've got five more to go. Um, so chapter four will be Clash of the Dragons, which is a really fun campaign. Um, so we'll be doing or covering that game next. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.